Hello, teacher Heather here. How are you today? Great. What is your name? Hello, Bao Bao. How old are you? I am three years old. Great, good job, high five. That was an example for all of you of TPR, total physical response. If you're a VIP kid teacher or you're thinking about becoming one, those are three little letters you need to know. Um, we are teaching English to children who don't speak English. And I have been a teacher for 10 years. I teach in a brick and mortar school during the day and I teach VIP kids at night. So, um, or very early in the morning. <laughs> but TPR is a big thing. I've had ESL students before, but by the time I get ESL students, they're 12 years old. So TPR is not as big a thing for them, but there's other things for them, pictures and uh, movement and things like that that really help them to comprehend what you're talking about. But when you're with VIP kids, sometimes this is the first experience with English that they have. You're the first Western person that they've ever seen. And so TPR is what helps them to listen and speak and learn. So it's something that I highly recommend you get comfortable with. My husband makes fun of me every day. So I have doors back here. And when they shut, they were frosted, but they couldn't see in when I was in here teaching and they wanted to know if I was teaching or not. So we have two of the frosted panes that we scraped the frosting off so you could see in the room. He stands on the other side of the door and makes fun of me when I'm teaching. He's like, hello, me, me, me. Okay. Whatever. Um, you have to do it. So, yes, TPR, super important. So I'm going to kind of give you, uh, I'm going to try and keep it brief. My videos are never brief. i got a lot to say. But... I want to try and keep it brief and short for you to kind of give you some of the um, major TPR that you need to know if you're going into your interview, if you're going into your mock. Usually the feedback you get from your interview is that maybe your instructional TPR is good, but your directional TPR is not, or vice versa, or maybe it's all together because TPR is something that's very hard to force yourself to do unless you're a person who talks with their hands already like me. So the first two that are the most important. When you speak, you touch your chin. Hello. When you want them to respond, you cup your ear and they respond back. How are you? Now this time I counted out the words so they could see, there's a black marker on my hand, um, how many words to say. How are you? you and then I'll go like this and when they start to talk they'll say how are you and they'll repeat and then I'll say how are you and then they'll say fine or good or have a little girl that says happy all the time and so when they do this and you say I am fine Good job. High five. Okay. So those are your four most important. The two I started with and the two I ended with. So pointing to your chin while you talk, cupping your ear. Um, good job. High five. Okay. They love those. They love high fives. If you really want to get them going, you're like, high five, high five, high five. They think that's funny. Or fist bump. I think that one's funny too. So those are your big major ones. Other ones that you don't um, think about, but that you will see them, is when you say, um, you know, how are you? And you can also use the um, sign language symbols for letters, and that helps too, because sometimes they learn those. So, um, But I, I was afraid I'm going to do the wrong one. 
So I'm just like, how are you? And I listen. <sighs> always smile, because this is what they're looking at. And you want this to always be positive and encouraging and kind of help them along. So your face is very important. That's why your lighting is very important. And if you wear a headset, which I do and I recommend, um, this is my headset. And my mic is here so they can still see me. One thing you have to get used to, being stuck in your cord, is not bumping your mic because it makes a very loud sound. So my mic's always on my right side. So I always use my left hand and then a cup with my right. Make sure you don't do this at the same time. <laughs> because then they're like, I don't know what you want me to do. Do you want me to talk? Do you want me to listen? Do you want me to speak? What do you want? So always be... Um, mindful of that. That's probably my hardest thing and I still do that is I do this and I forget to take my finger down so I'm still pointing and instead that's why I count now is it helps me take my finger down. Um, okay, other very important ones. Um, one of the things they want you to do is really get to know the student. Build this rapport with them. So one question that you can ask is how old are you? and you count and sometimes they don't know what that means and so it's okay if you're doing the little bitty ones usually they have a parent there that will help them and they'll say five and then I will say five I am five years old I am five years old Wow um, you want to use as little incidental language as you can. Your goal is for them to repeat, to read, to say the words you want to, and when you throw in a lot of incidental language, you get a lot of incidental language back. So you want to just, you know, short sentences with the lower kids. As you get to those higher kids, you can have conversations, and it's really great. So, um, TPR for a low kid and a lower level kid and TPR for a higher level kid are different. You still want to incorporate them, it's just not as much. So for instance, there is a slide for pre-IVP kids and props and TPR work together and it's about a ball. So I'm like, a ball, a ball. Slow it down. Good. Hit the ball hit the ball good you say hit the ball good and that's what you do then you say show me hit hit now this one is with little kids and sometimes they don't know what you're saying so we'll hold the ball up and I'll say you hit the ball and then they'll hit the ball and they hit it at me. And they think it's the funniest thing in the world. Like hit the ball and their little hand comes towards the computer. And I'm like, Phew! and I'll catch it. So or I'll throw it up, hit the ball and see if they can hit it before it falls back down. But you want to speak slowly. Once they understand what you're trying to say, like hit the ball, I do it very slowly first. But then when we're kind of playing with that and getting them engaged, I'll say it faster. I'll say, hit the ball and they'll repeat hit the ball and they'll learn that very very fast so that's always a good thing to do um, when you are saying hello or bye you know you always want to use motions so that they understand what you're communicating and kids catch on very quick the little ones it doesn't take them it's not that it takes them longer is that they're new at this but when they're that little and you start with them the great thing is is they are going to improve so quickly because the younger you start a child learning a second language the easier it is so that's always a great thing um, any last bit of information no um, as you go along you will develop your own um, set of TPR on the higher kids I will say can you read and or read and then um, you will say what do you see 
we do C, and you'll see those as it pops up on trials, and you can learn about to fall out of my chair. Different ones for it, but I see a bird. Okay, you want to use TBR. It's a great thing. So, um, oh, I almost forgot. Instructional TPR. So what I pretty much showed you was um, classroom TPR. It's it's just it's the curriculum. It's it's what you're wanting them to say. Instructional TPR though is like circle and draw a line. And there's different ways you can do that. You can do it like this: draw a line. Pick up your mouse if they're on the computer. Draw a line. Uh, drag and drop is a new one on the interactive slides so it's a good one to know I always say drag drop and they catch on to that one pretty quick if they're on an iPad okay have your phone or your iPad handy and then just say circle you circle and then they'll figure out you want them to touch it and they'll do that so Anyways, it's a little short and choppy, sorry. It's kind of how I roll. But if you have any more questions about TPR, please shoot me a comment down below. If you are looking for a referring teacher to help you through the interview process, my referral link is in the comments. Please shoot me an email. I'd love to help you. Um, you don't have to live near me. It's okay. Uh, we can Skype and do things like that. So. Um, I wish you the best of luck in your interviews and your Mach 1s. If you're sitting here thinking, I have no idea what Mach 1 is, I have a video about that too. <laughs> I have a video for all the acronyms in VIP Kid because they really like acronyms. So anyways, I wish you guys the best of luck in your journey. And if you need anything, please feel free. Subscribe to the page and you can see lots more videos. Bye.